Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the most recent Detox Market Gift with Purchase Bundle. I did a video showcasing their, I think it was called the Sunny Days Bundle. They had a big one for Valentine's Day last year. Every now and then, these really amazing Gift with Purchase Bundles come along. So they are calling this their Fall Bundle. Available starting today, October 11th, until they sell out. The deal is that it is $345 worth of product that you get for free if you place an order of over $200 on the Detox Markets website, October 11th and after. These do have a tendency to sell out relatively quickly, which is why I wanted to get this up so you could see what's in here and decide if you've been saving up to make an order. So I'm gonna show you everything in this bundle and then what I'm going to do is down below if you need some shopping recommendations, things to tip your order over as if we all need new things to buy. I'm going to list my top five fall eco beauty picks from the detox market and I'll have them listed and linked below. So make sure that you check out the description box for that. I just had a very cursory look at this image and I kind of just like wanted to be surprised. Okay, first product is the Province Apothecary Regenerating and Stimulating Exfoliator. I've kind of fallen in love with this brand. The Detox Market actually featured two Province Apothecary products in a detox box over the summer. The oil cleanser and the toner, which I really like. This is a Canadian skincare company. And, and I've also been learning about some other skin tools that the brand carries from Lena Rose. I did a whole video for Lena Rose's YouTube channel on skin exfoliation as you transition from summer to fall skincare. And Province Apothecary does a dry brush for your face as well as a dual ended jade roller so i'll have that video linked down below as well if you're curious i have not tried this the regenerating and stimulating exfoliator with lavender and green tea this looks like a full-size product at 120 mils it is an oatmeal based scrub that you activate with water or mix with your favorite oil yogurt or honey for a customized treatment so i'm going to assume that this is a powdered product yes has a really nice herbally scent. I can't wait to give this a try. I demo a lot of new skincare products when I do Get Unready With Me videos on Patreon, but I am also planning to do a fall skincare routine video for YouTube. So maybe I'll try and incorporate this somehow. This reminds me a bit of what the Lena Hansen uh, three, it's like called three in one. You don't have to do like a full masking routine with it. You can just use a little bit as like a quick exfoliator on a day-to-day -day basis mixed with a little water or face oil or toner. So products like this, I think are really versatile. Exfoliation is a kind of like a hot skincare topic right now just because of the season change and sort of what everybody's skin is going through. Next on the list is the Audacity Aloe and Immortal Hydra Repair Treatment mist. I feel like you can never go wrong with mists. This is 50 mils. Fresh aloe vera and healing immortelle flower. Refresh and soothe after cleansing or throughout the day. My test for if you can use a mist throughout the day is if it has a humectant in it. And the first ingredient in this is aloe vera leaf juice. So the answer to that would be yes. Immortelle um, in a toner. The one that's most noteworthy to me is the Evan Healy Immortelle toner. But let's see how we like this one. That's very nice. It's really refreshing. It's refreshing, but it has a sort of more grounded vibe than other kind of like zingy refreshing types of mists. I've been hit or miss with Audacity. I've talked about that before, but I actually kind of have high hopes. The, the toner that they included in the summer bundle was the Herbivore Green Tea toner, which was much more clarifying. So I'm hoping that this will be a little bit more reparative and hydrating um, for kind of the fall months. Next, we have the Indie Lee Swiss Apple Face Serum. Do you know I've never tried anything from this brand ever? First of all, the packaging is, is really qu quite gorgeous. It's in a frosted glass bottle. Ingredients say apply two or three drops of serum to face and throat after cleansing day and night. You can use it on its own or apply underneath a moisturizer. Allow five minutes absorption time before applying makeup and 15 minutes before applying sunscreen. Yeah, it's definitely a, a viscous type of serum. 
very viscous, more viscous than the Provise uh, Nutrify 1 to 6 tonic, which is what I'm currently using. But it's similar to something like Jordan Samuel Hydrate, Pi Back to Life Hydration Serum, 12 Beauty Hyaluronic product. I think they're all kind of in the same camp. This has, it's a little stickier. I get there, or there's like a, a tiny bit of tackiness to it. Whereas the finish to the Provise tonic is, I guess, more watery. It's hard, a little hard to describe. The first ingredient is Crondrus Crispus extract. I have no idea what that is. Water, hyaluronic acid, fruit cell culture. Very simple formula. It's described as a revolutionary, revolutionary anti-aging serum designed to even skin tone, reduce appearance of wrinkles, and preserve youthful appearance. I feel like those are all things we hear, promises we hear all the time. Formulated with stem cells of a rare Swiss apple, this combination of rich proteins, phytonutrients, and metabolites speeds exfoliation to promote skin renewal. I'm really intrigued by this. A, an interesting version of a hyaluronic product, which really do have a place in my routine. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. So far this box is impressing me. Okay, the next product is from Skin Owl and it's their Neck Plus Super Smoothing and Contouring Neck Concentrate. I have been curious about this product for years. I discovered Skin Owl through Beauty Heroes. I fell in love with the Mangosteen Beauty Drops, which are discontinued. The Beauty Whip is an amazing product. And the thought of having a sort of a neck and decollete sp specific product has always seemed simultaneously super appealing to me and also extra, but I'm kind of okay with being extra. So the, the first ingredient is organic herbal infusion, aloe vera, witch hazel, MSM, mineral complex, jojoba oil, spirulina, Irish moss, turmeric, very interesting. Comes in a pump, which we love. Oh my gosh, it's totally different than I thought that this was gonna be. Okay, it comes out clear. I thought this product was an oil, but turns out it's like a, a gel almost. I'm totally excited about this product because I thought for the longest time that it was an oil and I was like, why am I gonna buy a neck specific, neck specific product when I could just use a body oil or like something else that I'm using? But that, that gel formula is fascinating. Not really that sticky. It's a little bit less sticky feeling than the Indie Lee or Tacky. Um, it's cooling. It's nice. The scent reminds me, it, it's kind of like a nonsense scent, but it reminds me a bit of another product I've tried. Okay, next is the 100% pure coffee bean caffeine eye cream. So I actually used to use this product. If any of you have been watching La More La Musique since the beginning, I would say in the first year to two years of me making videos, I was using this, or I went through like a couple of these. I've sort of since talked about how 100% Pure is not a brand I gravitate towards or really buy from. This product is fine, but it's absolutely nothing groundbreaking to be honest. So this is kind of the first thing in the box where I'm like, well, I'm not terribly impressed um, with this personally, but your experience may differ. The caffeine is supposed to give kind of like a little tightening effect and help reduce darkness around the eyes. I never really found that it did that, but this is a relatively affordable eye cream. So if you do like it, repurchasing it would be uh, probably doable. Okay, then we move to another 100% pure product that I have not tried and actually definitely will. These are the Bright Eye Masks. It's just a single pack of them. I use the Honest Hazel Eye Gels, which truthfully I haven't even really done in a long time, but I do love a disposable eye gel. Next, we have the Henne Organics Lip Exfoliator in Nordic Berries. I, I'm trying to remember, I think it was my Best of Beauty 2017, or I've talked about it somewhere. I have the Rose Diamonds lip version of the Henne lip exfoliator and it's a total favorite product of mine. I didn't think I could like a lip exfoliator as much as I like the Rose Diamonds one. Never tried the Nordic Berries. I'm actually not sure if they just replaced the Rose Diamonds with the Nordic Berries, but I assume it's the same formula. Yeah, it looks the same. Smells incredible. I may even like this one better than the Rose Diamonds as I think I prefer Berry to Rose. 
So the first ingredient is sugar. So you kind of are getting a double, you're getting kind of the exfoliation from the sugar, and then you're also getting kind of that buffing effect when you remove it. And it does leave the lips like beautifully moisturized. I would say I use mine once a week, once every couple weeks if I forget, but it's such a great product to have around. I think this is a fantastic inclusion. Then up is another favorite product of mine. Guys, this is, absolutely the best gift with purchase bundle I feel like I've ever seen from Detox Market. They're including products I love as well as products I'm really interested in. So they're including a full-size Osmia Lip Doctor. This is lavender infused olive oil shea, cocoa butters, as well as avocado and argan oils. I am on my second or third tube of Osmia Lip Doctor. I've been with it since the old packaging. They've put it into this new packaging and I discovered it through a Beauty Heroes box like three years ago and it's the best like chapstick alternative I have personally ever found in terms of how it moisturizes your lips, how it stays on. So many people love this product. I think it is such a good lip balm. Okay, and then the last thing they're including is from Kaya Naturals, and this is their Sakura Blossom Deodorant in a travel size. Japanese Cherry Blossoms sent this baking soda-free deodorant. It's a gel to powder formula, utilizing bamboo charcoal to absorb odor. Actually smells quite nice. The only thing I've ever tried from Kaya Naturals is the Overnight Detox Dry Shampoo, which I enjoy. Deodorant's very, very personal, so we'll just have to see, but I love kind of having this little travel size. Oh, I mean, what more can I say? This is kind of amazing. Let me know if you have questions on anything in the box or if you decide to place a big detox market order and, and scoop this up. I have a feeling it'll probably go quick. Thank you so much to the detox market for allowing me to show these products to all of you and to get to try them. And I'll report back. You'll probably see these things show up in other content that I do or in favorites videos, hopefully. I hope you enjoyed seeing all these things, hearing a few quick first impressions. Would love to hear from you in the comments. Make sure you check the description box below to get some fall beauty recommendations if you are in need and I'll see you guys really soon. Bye.